Well, hello and welcome to this edition of my Tesla Timeout series. I hope everybody's doing okay. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's show is sponsored by a new um, vendor partner that I've come across called a Jawa, if I pronounce that correct, or Jowa depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, they are based in Taiwan, is my understanding. And uh, I came across them because they have some really cool quality uh, products for, uh, for the Tesla vehicles, as you can see here. They sent me a bunch of stuff. So my disclaimer is that the, I'm doing this show uh, to give my honest and uh, you know, clear review of these products. Um, they, sent it, they sent me these for free. Uh, in order to do a review and to promote them. Um, so I will have a promo code at the end of the show. If you look in the show notes, you'll see a promo code for a discount as well. So I encourage you, if you like what you see, they have products for Model 3, Model Y, and some of the other Tesla vehicles, as well as, I believe, maybe some other vehicles. So you can check them out. I'll have all the links in the show. But again, I want to thank uh, Joa for sending me these, these things. And again, what I found unique about this, you know, because there's lots of USB hubs and there's wireless charging mats and, you know, this is uh, um, uh, an LED light here, rechargeable light and a game controller because, of course, in the Tesla Model 3s and Ys and Xs and, uh, and uh, Ss, you can play games on the computer while you're sitting there parked, of course, you're not going to do it while you're driving. We won't get into that. And what's different about their products, as I mentioned, is the high quality and the engineering and thought of the design of these products. That's kind of really what caught my eye. So let me show you what they sent me, first of all. All right, so let me just show you the products that they've sent me. First of all is this uh, LED light bar. And um, it's basically a rechargeable LED stick that works in conjunction with their center uh, console um, drawer, which I don't have, I believe, yet. Um, I'll have to look at what they sent me. And if we do a quick unboxing, uh, I'm not really big for, for, you know, packaging and this kind of stuff, uh, as long as it's functional. Uh, it's really the products that I'm interested in. So here's LED, and there's an auto and an on. So if I put on, you can see, kind of like a little lightsaber kind of thing. Um, but this is good if you drop something in the car, or if you're trying to find something, you need an extra light. It's rechargeable, and it also has a light sensor as well that'll come on when you open the console drawer. It's got, of course, your cable to recharge it up and some instructions. So let me put that aside. Um, so let me open that uh, center console tray then here. So here's the, the console tray packaging and here's the tray itself. There's comes in a couple colors. I believe a cream, like a light brown or a light cream and a gray color. They've sent me the gray. And um, what I really liked about this product when I looked at, looked at it on their website was the fact that it's really strong. So a lot of the center console trays and, and additional trays for the Teslas, especially the Model 3 and the Model Y, um, are, are a thin plastic material. And what I found with the couple that I've had, especially for the center console, which this one is for, um, I have the uh, pre-refresh Model 3, as you guys know. So it has doesn't have the slide-up drawer. It has the pop-open um, faceplate for it, for putting it in. And what I found is that when I load up stuff, these trays tend to sink down into the console. And um, they just get overloaded and they sink down. This is a really hard rubber. And it's got this neoprene uh, lining on it that you can take out. You can It's washable. You can take it out and clean it. Um, it's got the cutout for the light, which is in there, of course. Um, and it has, you know, cutouts in here for the light as well, as you can see. So it's compartmentalized. They have a couple different options. You can put business cards, coins, whatever. The reason I really like this, as I said again, is the quality. This is a really hard plastic. It's not going to bend and be flimsy. And it's going to sit and rest because, it, you know, as you can see, it rests on these, um, on these ridges here. And um, I find with a lot of the other thinner uh, console trays that are out there from Amazon and other companies that they just tend to squeeze in over time and they sl start sliding down. You put stuff in it and it slides out. It's very annoying. And then, you know, it covers the light. You can't see the light when you open up at night. It's very frustrating. So I'm very excited to get this. And um, yeah, and as I mentioned, this light will actually work with the armrest organizer, which I don't have yet. They're back ordered because it's a bigger unit and it has a light sensor so that when you open the center console, the center armrest, this will come on uh, because it has a spot to lay in, in that drawer. So it's another unique feature of that. So they sent me this. Another thing that I was excited about was the hub. So um, here's the... Um, the USB hub with LED light. 
Uh, and as I said, these guys have a really quality product, even the thought in the packaging. I'm not big on, on you know unboxing and packaging. I'm doing one here today. They give you the instructions of what power ports are what. They do provide maximum power into all the ports. So this, this is the... Um, uh, the pre-refresh version. So I have uh, the post June 2020 to the uh, October, November of 2020. I have my Model 3 came in that range. So it has a USB-C and a USB-A port in the center console. Uh, post uh, refresh, you'll have two USB-Cs and pre Pre June 2020, you'll have two USB A's. So they have all three models on their website. You just have to order the correct one, understand what you're looking for. But what I found very unique with this is, is the design and the quality. Um, the design is very nice. I went with wood for everything because I just, I like the wood dash. And if you've seen my interior, you know I have the wood um, uh, um, vinyl uh, li lining on it as well in the center console. But this has an automatic light so that once it's plugged in and you open the console, this sensor will detect the movement and the light will come on. There's an LED strip here. And I find, again, at night, it's very hard to find stuff in that center console um, because the light is, is either blocked by the trays or it's just not that much light. So this is going to add a second light when I install it. And, of course, it has the ports. It also has a couple of other features. You can put an SD card or a micro SD card in here and use this as your um, and use that as your sentry mode recording device. So it does offer that. So you can you don't have to use up a dedicated USB port. Here's got three USB A, two USB C. They're all full powered ports as well. Um, so that is cool. I really like the look of it. I like that design. You could turn the light off. You could turn it on manually, or you can have it automatic. So again, a really another cool feature from those guys. Now to go along with that is the center wireless charging mat for, again, my, my particular version of my Model 3. And what's cool about this is it does offer 15 watts uh, at all the sides has uh, two spots for two standing and one if you want to do on the side. Now, I have a bigger iPhone. I have the um, 11 Max. So I don't know if it, I don't, from what I've read, I don't think it's going to fit up and down, but it will fit sideways. So I will try that out. But again, taking the, the boxing and stuff aside, here's the product itself. It's a really nice quality product. Very nice finish. I like the looks. It's got anti-slip uh, uh, pieces here. And again, another feature is you can put a micro SD card right here and use this to record your sentry mode. So again, you can either do it here or you can use the SD card for something else, maybe for putting music or something on here. So you got both options here. I'm going to probably do it here. I'm going to take away my sand disk and I'm going to put an SD micro SD card in here and use this spot as my recording nice quality product and one of the thing is offers is that when you it has a cable to do one to two so i can use this primary port i can plug in one cable which is included they have three cables included here as you can see and then plug this into the usb-c here the first one and it will power the entire charging pad with one cable don't need to use up two ports so again another well thought out design a better thought out than some of the other guys and also they give you this little cardboard box which is um, basically just a position for airpods so if you have the airpods pro or airpod 2 i have the original airpods so i'm going to try it with that just to see if it works i, I don't think my original airpods support inductive charging uh, i don't remember because it's been so long but probably not but if you do have airpods uh, pro or the two you can this is just a rest you can put it here and it will inductive charge as well so a little cool feature that they give you with this so again in conjunction with these two you can see i've got the wood theme going <laughs> because i really like the wood um so it just very thought out well engineered product solid um just the nice little touches i really enjoy that and the last thing they sent me was i don't play a lot of games in the vehicle uh, but they did send me a wireless uh, multi-device wireless controller um, again, there's instructions, which I'll probably keep for all the different buttons and, and you can uh, charge this up. You can plug it in or charge it up to give you the cables. Uh, again, I went with the wood design. As you can see, there's a there's a, a pattern going on here um, and that's your game control. I'm not really a big gamer, guys uh, and gals, um, but I figure if I'm supercharging or if I'm sitting waiting for somebody, <laughs> pick somebody up or whatever, and I've got time, which has happened a few times, I can sit there and play a game now that there's more games and I can use the controller versus the steering wheel. Um, so, or the touch screen. So pretty cool. Uh, very nice, uh, again, uh, product, well-engineered, thought out, 
Um, just, you know, very nice designs to all this stuff. And, you know, and they give you all the cables for, for connecting and for recharging and everything. So, uh, you know, this is what I'm going to install on the car. So let me go and put all this stuff in. So it's pretty straightforward. But I will show you what these products, especially here, look like when they're all in. And I should also mention I forgot about the wireless game controller. They do give you a wireless dongle for this, and they do give you an adapter as well, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, if you need that. Hopefully that's coming out on camera, so they give you that, and of course the cable and instructions on how to connect it up. So I just wanted to mention that because I forgot to mention that. All right, so uh, again, I I'm, I'm, wasn't going to do a, uh, a lot of installation videos as these are pretty straightforward, but just show you. So here's a slot I've put in a micro SD card, which I'll format later on on the display. Uh, but just, as you can see, I've got the both the USB-C and the USB-A port. And if I move this box aside here and uh, open this up, uh, hopefully you can see that I've got those two ports here. I'm going to light this up with the flashlight. So I've got an A and a C as you can see. So make sure you check on your car which you have. Either you'll have two USB-A's or a C and an A or two USB-C's depending on the model. And then this will just uh, go straight in to those ports and then activate. It's pretty straightforward. So there's the hub installed and as you can see the I have put the light to auto so that when this is moved up when there's some movement as you can see the light comes on. And that's pretty good because that in combination with the light that's here as you can see here, this light here will light up this uh, center area very nicely, especially the, the lower part. Um, and then, of course, I've got the drawer. So the drawer goes in easily. It just goes in just like that. And again, the light will shine through because it's got the uh, preparation, uh, the holes there for the light to shine through into this tray. And you can see it's a nice tray. It's not slipping down, you know, like some of the others do. And you can slide it on this one a uh, little bit anyway, if you need to get back down into here. So um, I really like having these center trays because I keep a lot of, you know, stuff that I need uh, fairly quickly. Um, maybe, you know, the coffee house cards and this kind of stuff. I won't promote any businesses, but uh, I think people know where I drive through every day to get my coffee. So so a nice feature. And again, I really like that light. It stays on for a timed uh, element. And again, once you open that up, there's movement. You can also manually turn it on if you want, if you're going to be doing that. So really nice, thoughtful design. All right, so I've installed a wireless charging pad. Uh, again, just one cable connector into that. Um, and it's pretty easy. You take this part out. I think there's tons of videos on that. Um, I can't put my phone on there, but I did test it, and all the positions do actually fit my phone, which is an 11 Max Pro, and also um, charge, indicate the charge. So this is one, this is two, and this is three. And you can kind of see that there's these clear lights. They light up a white, a slow flashing light when you have a phone on here. So if it's a phone this way, it uh, slowly blinks on this one. If it's a phone this way, it slowly blinks, blinks on the third one. And if you have a phone in the middle horizontally, then it slowly blinks on here. So it indicates that it's charging. Again, I've tried my phone on all three positions and it works right away and it fits right away nice and snug. So, hey, this is really nice. And again, as you can see, I want it to keep with the wood look. It's not an exact match for the color, but it's pretty close because uh, I have everything here. Um, you know, skinned uh, uh, with the wood look, and uh, it's just something that I really like, and I wanted to keep that in. I usually keep that open most of the times. So, again, a nice product, easy to put the phones in, and it works quite well. Um, again, you do also have the option to put micro SD here. I put it in the hub because what I may do is load up a micro SD card with a bunch of music, and um, once I figure out how to do that, I know it's pretty easy. And I might start doing that, playing some 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 of my own music that I have. I have tons of stuff, so I uh, might do that. But again, a very nice uh, setup here. And then again, with the uh, with the tray that goes in here, I put some stuff in it, as you can see. Uh, just a really nice organized setup. Um, just you know, quality products, uh, and that's one thing I liked about them. So yeah, thank you, uh, Joa, for that. All right, so I just hooked up the wireless controller and uh, tried playing a game. I'm not a very good gamer, but uh, so as you can see, the blue light's on. There's instructions on how to sync it. It's pretty straightforward. Everything's on the card here if you want to sync it up. And again, I use the Bluetooth uh, or the dongle that's in there, the wireless dongle that's in the hub. So I don't have to, um, I can do it wirelessly and play the game. So again, a nice uh, matching color. 
works quite well and uh, this game music is probably going to drive me nuts if I leave it going for a while uh, but as you can see just very high quality products from Joa here and uh, quite quite happy with them. Well, thanks for tuning into this edition of my Tesla Timeout series. I hope you enjoyed these products from uh, Joa, if I got that right again. Uh, please see the show notes for all the links for all the products, as including the promo code again that you can receive a discount from these guys. I uh, strongly encourage you to go check it out anyway, whether you have a Model 3, a Model S, or whatever. I, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Some of those are universal, so they have some cell phone mount holders and this kind of stuff that, that sticks with 3M tape. So the those things can, can be used in other applications, not necessarily just Tesla vehicles. So check them out. Thank you very much, Joa, for sending me this stuff. And again, thanks for tuning in to this edition of my Tesla Time Out. Everybody stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Spring through New York City Like in my dreams with New York pretty I wanna fly down in New York City Run scheming light in New York's pretty Awakening is falling, dread it hard Be sure to stay and stay at high Bites downtown at hard and night fly Central hero shining silver beats a lullaby And I'd rather be there in New York Up down from New York City.